It's held apart the series, featuring improvised sketch comedy, starring Agnes Arnold, Chris Brennan, Brian Duarte, Darren Held, Zarina Hora, Amy LaRue Gessner, Liz Lanier, and Mantel. Richard Martinez, Neil Matsuzaki, Sarah Pinsky, Scott Segesi, Kale Schwartzman, Daniel Smith, and Nellie Valetian. Mr. Morris. Uh, Nancy, how's how's little Timmy doing? Uh, he's fine. <laughs> you know, we've just been trying to stick to the curriculum you you sent us a few weeks back. Uh, he's 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 struggling a little a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Yeah, well, that's to be expected. You know, this is an unprecedented time. You know, I'm sure he's got some anxiety and all of that. But you know, you're you're a great parent, and you're gonna get through this just fine. Oh, thank, thank you for saying that. I, I really appreciate the, the support. He's, uh, you know, he's dealing it with a, with a lot of anger, I, I have to say. I, I'm starting to see a bit of another, another side to him, you know. Uh, I mean, I did, I did note uh, in his, on his last report card that he does have some, you know, some social uh, issues. I think this time at home is going to be really good for him could be really bad for me. Uh, I mean, what's really happening is, um, okay, how do I say this? I'm scared. 
Nancy, I, I can't help but notice you have like red marks all over your face. Is everything okay? <laughs> it's the art project you designed for today, this morning. I, I set out all the materials and he decided the paper wasn't good enough and he started using my face and he keeps putting all the, these things in my hair. Okay, listen, I've been a teacher for almost 20 years. You, you just have to really set the boundaries. Let him know who's boss. He's not listening. Mr. Morris, I'm I'm in the closet right now because I I don't know where else to go. I'm so scared, Mr. Morris. I'm so sorry I didn't listen when you when you told me. I just thought he was my little angel, but Listen, Nancy, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't normally do this with parents. Um your son Your son is a monster. If you're gonna survive this quarantine, you've gotta get out of out of there and 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 Get to a safe place. Do you have Do you have somewhere in your house that is safer than the closet that you're currently in? Maybe the bathroom. I can I can try to make it to the bathroom. Okay, let me try. Okay, to try. Move. Check if the closet. Oh God, I'm so afraid. Okay, I'm with you. I'm here with you. You're gonna be fine. I'm almost there. Ah! There's things coming. There's. Oh, he's here. He's here. Oh, Nancy, get to a safe place. I have to pause it. I have to go back. It's not safe. Get, get back in. It's okay. You're going to be fine. I'm back in the closet. Nancy, that was, that was, that was, that was more intense than I thought it was going to be. How about this? How about this? He listens to me sometimes, sometimes. From the safety of your closet, maybe you can turn the, you know, your camera around and, 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 and call him over and he'll see me and he'll see, you know, an authority figure that, that he's used to and maybe he'll be able to Contain the monster. Okay, I, I can try. You can do it. Timmy! Timmy, come here, Mr. Morris has some things to tell you. I'm gonna turn the camera now, okay? Yeah, turn it around. That way I'll be able to. Oh! Ah! No! Mr. Morris! Mr. Morris, he knocked. He's, he's, he's here. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I called him, but. Nancy? Nancy, Nancy, are you, Nancy, are you there? Nancy? Nancy can't talk right now. Huh. You got a question you need to ask? Just ask Max. Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Rita. Is that your real name? No. Would you, you want to know something? Yes, Max. I am dying to know, what are you gonna do with your stimulus check? Get money for me. Yes. You know what? One day I was on the playground and I had a truck and this kid didn't have a truck, so maybe I buy him one too so we can both have trucks. Max, that is so sweet. Do you know what that word is called? It's called empathy. You, Max, have empathy. Is that good? Yes, Max. You should be very proud of yourself. I want more to... I want this many empathies. Well, I am sure you're going to be able to use that stimulus check and buy as many empathies as you want. Yay! Ask Max. Are you my friend? Oh my God, you're so precious. Hi, Max. You know what? My name's short for something, it's Maximilian. That makes so much sense because you're the max of a million. Oh, so <laughs> cute. What your, what your name means? My name is Neil and it means to crouch in deference. Let's play something. Okay, uh, what did you want to play? You say, I'm in trouble and I need some help and I say, listen to me. Okay, okay. 
I'm in trouble and I need some help. What's the problem, sir? I need to know the answer to a very, very tough question. What happened? I just, I just need to know. What is love? Love is when it's snack time at a daycare and someone has a graham cracker and you can't have one because you can't have sugar. And then someone says, I won't eat my graham cracker. I'll eat your apple with you and get love time. Oh, that just, that just makes so much sense. Do you have, hey, do you want some of this? Oh, I, I would love a nanner. Are you sad because you don't have this? I'm sad because I don't have that. I can give you some. Thank you, Max. Oh. It's for a dollar. Ask Max. And now, from lockdown, it's any day update. With Liz Lanier and Richard Martinez. Hi, I'm Liz Lanier. And I'm Richard Martinez. And welcome to Any Day Update. Where the day doesn't matter. Because they all feel just the same. McDonald's is giving first responders and healthcare workers free thank you meals. And the US government has responded by giving its citizens no thank you meals, which include no universal healthcare, continuing of mortgage payments, and a fake COVID testing kit, no batteries included. A 93-year-old woman in Pennsylvania went viral this week for sharing this picture to her social media asking for more beer. More than 150 cans of beer showed up to her house in just one day. The real question is, did anyone think to card her? Earlier this week was Earth Day, and Mother Earth celebrated by canceling mankind and Marie condoing her space. So does that mean that mankind doesn't spark joy from Mother Earth anymore? Of course not. She's ready to throw us out. We spark no joy. She's given us chances though. She's given us chances. Sales of sex toys are skyrocketing amid the coronavirus quarantine, seeing a rise of over 50%. Though I have to say, if you're only getting a 50% rise from these toys, you probably want to ask for your money back. Michelle Obama has teamed up with PBS Kids' YouTube channel with a series called Mondays With Me. This is where she reads children's books aloud to viewers. Hopefully she has received my children's book I submitted, which is called Please Help Us All. Now it's time to check in with an Any Day Update correspondent. With protests happening all around the nation to reopen our economy and reopen stores, we have a spokesperson here with us today from the Liberate Applebee's movement, Chester McDougall. Chester McDougall, can you hear us? How hello, are you? hello, hi Chester. Good to be with you. How are you? Good. Thanks for, thanks for giving time to our cause. Um, well, we're equal opportunity here at Any Day Update. That's what I understand. I, I, I don't get the internet much. Chester, you're not part of the fake news contingent. Uh, yeah. Chester, um, why is it that you think it is uh, so important to open up small businesses, uh, Applebee's in particular? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a patriot, and uh, I, I truly believe that when, you know, Abraham Lincoln wrote the Declaration, the Constitution, he, he meant it in his heart, you know. Uh, he meant it in his heart that we have the right to liberty. We have the right to a, a whole bunch of guns. Uh, we have, we have a right to the Applebee's steak stampede. So, uh, I mean, that touched my heart when I, when I read that. I had to do something about it. We can't just sit here, you know. I have the right to choose, you know. You can't tell a man what to do with his body. Right. Um, to my understanding here, we have that you are working with other coalitions. Sure. Um, do oh. you mind speaking about the other coalitions you're working with? As you can see from this map behind me, we, we go we go all over. <laughs> Gosh, we're working, Liberate Applebee's is working with uh, coast to coast, if you will, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, one coast to the other, left coast to the right coast, from uh, Liberate Kmart, uh, Liberate Smuckers. Uh, 
I don't know if you've been to that Smucker's Outlet store. Um, Liberate Cracker Barrel, of course, is, is in on it. Liberate, uh, Liberate Gravy. Um, oh, and, uh, and of course, uh, something that's near and dear to a lot of us in the liberation movement. Uh, Liberate uh, Honky's Hooter Shack. We all have a right to entertainment, do we not? Yes. Yes. I knew I was in the right place. You two are real good. Thank you. Thank you. Chester, um, a lot of people are, are asking for these small businesses to reopen, but, you know, the, the, the flat... Hey, I'm sorry. Can I put you... I'm just going to put this interview on pause for just a second. Okay. I'm going to just hit the pause on the Zoom. I just... I'm sorry. I just... I just... I think I'm on pause now. No pause. I don't, you can't pause. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I just, mom's about to leave, so I want to make sure she, I'm sorry. Go ahead with your question, sir. Well, I was just asking, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, all kinds of people wanting to open up businesses, but yeah. curve hasn't really flattened in, in many states. And I can't help but notice that you yourself, uh, in the safety of your own home, seem to be wearing gloves and 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 a mask. Um, if you have no fear of the virus, why would you be wearing those safety precautions? Wow, <laughs> you are a, a good reporter. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Uh, first, with regards to curves, uh, I have to admit I I like myself a, a curvy one. <laughs> uh, you know, so I. I all that stuff about let's let's flatten the curve. I'm like, well, what's wrong with the curve in the first place? Uh, but uh, this is really not for any sort of fake virus or whatever. This is for the immigrants, um, as you know, that they're all around us. Uh, and uh, I, I, I might be going uh, next week uh, if they let us out. I'm going to go back for the uh, the celebration of the anniversary of the mentioning of the building of the wall. It's, it's a very exciting time for a lot of us. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. It looks like she's she's just about to head out. So I'm going to put it on pause for just a moment. Pause. Oh, she just, I'll be right back. No, you go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're not going anywhere, Chester. Mumsy. Mumsy. Mumsy, before you... Mumsy, before... Yes, before you head out, I'd like... If I could get the chimichanga and the Jarevos Rancheros, please, please, mommy. <laughs> Love you, mumsy. Love you. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, we're on pause. Okay, thank you. I'm uh, paused. I'm a techno okay. guy, so sorry about that. Hope you thank, didn't think you were lost in cyberspace. Uh, no, no, uh, unfortunately not. Very much here in this interview. Yes. Um, I couldn't help but notice that although it seems that you may have some anti-immigrant sentiment, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, you are ordering from your mother um, uh, food from Enrique's, which um, doesn't seem to match with the rhetoric you've been uh, proposing to us. Oh, that, well, that, that's, that's a little different, and I don't want to get into a back and forth here, but uh, you see, I have a, a real, real nice collection of gardeners outside, and, and they turned me on to this, this food, and yummy, yummy. <laughs> so I, I think that's okay. Uh, it's just the other, the other parts. Uh, you know, we've got to protect ourselves, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's really what... Uh, uh, we're here about at Liberate uh, Applebee's, uh, Steak Stampede and, and carbs, <laughs> you know, I mean, I remember when uh, uh, Dr. Martin X uh, said, uh, and he was on a hill and he said on the Sermon of the Mount, he was like, you know, we must have potatoes, you know, and uh, just that kind of stuff. I'm a, I'm a guy who's just inspired by that. Right. Chester, <laughs> Google, it's been, it's it's been an experience having you on the show. Uh, please feel free to yeah. watch. You're all invited. By the way, when we get into that Applebee's, hey, there's always a, there's always a, there's always a little bit more gravy for uh, for you two. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for that invitation, and thank you for enlightening us 
about the Liberate Applebee's movement. Thank you for having me. Mumsy, I'm done. All right, well, that was... That um, was did, did you notice his accent changed? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna know like more about the Liberate Smuckers movement. I feel like I've learned a lot. Yes, yes. With that learning, maybe we go on to the last last joke. Yeah, I think that's I think it's time. All right, here we go. This week, IKEA shared with the public its recipe for their iconic Swedish meatballs. The instructions, in typical IKEA fashion, were hard to understand as there were only pictures, no words, and missing ingredients. This has resulted in a spike of kitchen-related murders among quarantine couples. Thanks for that piece of news, Richard. Um, if there's blood on my hands, I know to blame Ikea, so. There you go. Yeah. All right, well, this has been Any Day Update. I'm Liz Lanier. And I'm Richard Martinez. Join us next week. You got a question you need to ask? Just ask Max. Hey, are you my new babysitter? Hi, I'm not. I wish I was. You're so cute. I know. Hey, you know what? What? Sometimes I don't need a babysitter because I'm fine. Next sometime I'm, I'm four but gonna be five. You're gonna be five? You're gonna be so big. No wonder you don't need a babysitter. You're pretty <laughs> much grown up. You know why? Because I'm not a baby. You're not a baby. Of course not. You're you're a little man. You, who are you? My name is Sarah. Nice to meet you, Max. And I just had a question. What's your favorite activity to do during quarantine or during lockdown right now? Oh my gosh. There's so many things to do. Okay, so one thing is Sometimes I can take my cats and tie their tails together. Oh. And then sometimes I, I, I look at the TV and then I play some video games. <laughs> and then, you know what? One time my friend Julie, she called me on the Zoom like this and she said a big word. Oh no, you didn't say it, did you? No, I told her mommy and she got in trouble. Oh no! <laughs> it was funny. That is really funny. What your favorite bad word is? My favorite bad word? Damn. Um, my favorite bad word, and you promise not to tell anyone. Yes. Okay. It's fiddlesticks. I'm gonna go see it right now, fiddlesticks! Ask Max. Hi, what's your name? Hi there. Hi there, Max. My name is Whitney Chastain, and I have a question for you. Are you taking questions? Yes. My teacher said I'm very smart. Yes, I agree with your teacher. I think you are very smart. So, are you tired? I'm very tired. Um, I want to play and my mommy's tired too. All the adults are tired, especially when they have little ones just like you, Max, running around the house all day. <laughs> like me? Like you. <laughs> hey, you know what? What you want to ask me? Well, I have a very quick question for you. Max, what would you do if you ruled the world? If I, if I could rule the world, then there would be no more little girls and no more little boys and just puppies and rocks. And the puppies and rocks would make puppy rock babies. Wow, so you would invent new, new pets? Yeah. 
wow, you are already thinking just, just so much like a grown up, inventing new things. My, my dad said, I could be anybody I want to. Yeah, and you can. And can I be you today? Absolutely, please be me. That means I can go to bed. I win the test in there, buddy. All right, everybody, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for uh, uh, logging in to tonight's Zoom edition of our Morning Wood meeting. Um, I, I wanted to hold these meetings so that we could, as men, get together and uh, just, you know, socialize during quarantine. I want to go around, introduce yourself, and then tell us what would you be doing today if you were not in quarantine. Um, for example, my name is Dick Wilsonson, and what would I be doing? Well, I'm a prison guard, so uh, they happen to have let all of our inmates go because of quarantine, so I, I'm home now. And uh, what would I be doing? I would be probably overseeing the lunch it's not like I would be beating someone up or anything. It's, I would probably just be uh, overseeing the, the lunch program right now. Let's move over to the left. Why don't you int introduce yourself, sir? My name's uh, Zach Matsui. I'm a construction worker. I, right now, I'd be just up on the high rise, just riveting in girders with my hands, building, constructing, making something from nothing. And now I just sit here. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you, brother. I hear you. All right, uh, moving on. My name is Reggie. I'm a bit of a, you know, I don't want to throw around the word lumberjack, but like, it's kind of what I do. Every piece of furniture you can see back here, I made, you know, that bookshelf back there, I made that. That bed, I made that. So this morning, I would be out there, like, chopping down some trees and building shit. I had to leave all my, all my good tools back in the, uh, the lumberjack yard. All I got in the house is a pair of screwdrivers. I got nothing to screw, you know? I got measuring tape. I got, I got nothing to measure, man. It's hard. This is real hard. I'm sorry, just go to the next one. Go to the next one. It's okay. Let it out, man. Uh, this is, that's why we're here, and uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Let's move on now. Hey, guys. I'm Harlan Trout, and uh, I work the night shift security at a B of A. In the morning, I would probably be sleeping, but I have this ritual, this beautiful ritual where I start by going into the woods and shooting myself an elk that I can chop up and have for dinner and it close the fucking woods. I'm glad you brought that up, actually, because that leads us into our next segment. It's called Morning Wood. I'm going to share my screen now. We're going to go around the circle again, and instead of talking about what we would do on a normal day, we're going to talk about what we would do if we were in the picture here. Let's all just take a minute and really like, take it in. That's everything a man needs right there. I want to bathe in that lake. I want to go out there and just chop down those trees and make something, you know? I want to lean against that tree and take a nap and dream about it building the fire with my bare hands and then and then I wake up and there's a bear sniffing around my toes and, and then he starts licking them <laughs> and it tickles a little bit I just want to go fishing hey I just want to uh, I just want to circle back here a minute uh dick yeah uh, wh what's going on with you and bears man uh what do you mean I mean you're talking about bears licking your toes and it tickling I don't know. It sounds kind of. He's just looking at my toes, cause, cause maybe I spread some honey on it, and then, and then, uh, and then maybe I, maybe I capture that bear and I put a saddle on him, and then and I ride him around. And he's my companion. Why would you do that? That sounds super weird. I don't think you guys are getting the 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 idea of the 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 idea of it. Here, here's a new picture. Oh man, that that looks like a real nice table. I would love to hang an elk with a rope from that big hanging piece of wood. Look at those giant, giant marks. From, looks like it's from a giant bear claw that would just like, like grab on you and just like bear hug you. And then just like 
be in total control of your whole body and then you just surrender to it completely. Dick, uh, sounds like you're kind of into bears, dude. Yeah, what? it's getting weird. I'm, I'm tempted to leave here and go watch my stories. I've been getting really into General Hospital. Oh my God, me too. General Hospital, Days of Our Lives. Can you believe that uh, they, that they that they brought Stefano back from the dead again? No spoilers, guys. I haven't seen that one yet. Guys, what the hell? This is this is supposed to be about we're like talking about the woods and like men men things. Yeah, no, it sounds more like you're into bear fucking, dude. <laughs> Adapt or die. Guys, I didn't. I none of what I said was that. You guys are making, you guys are putting that words in my mouth and, and fantasies in my, in my head, and dreams in my soul. Yeah, I'm going to go watch Days of Our Lives, dude. Later. Later.